Hello everybody, hope you're doing great and are ready for some volcano updates. Recent measurements show that land rise in Askja has slowed down. The geologists are now speculating what could happen next. As we've seen recently, the earthquake activity south of Mount Kaelir is slowly declining, but still there of course, and definitely more than we could call usual. A few hours before I started making this video, a 3.6 magnitude earthquake struck, which is one of the largest in the current series. But other than that, the activity has been rather dull, but still interesting, as it seems as if some of our predictions seem to be coming true. Let's check it out in the data and detail section. First things first, let's see what has happened in the last seven days. The spotlight area, just south of Mount Kaelir, has seen more activity in the past. It's been rather quiet here since the last upload, but if we zoom out, we see there are at least two more areas with a rather high concentration of earthquakes, one being directly under the Blue Lagoon. There have been two sudden spikes of earthquakes there recently. Then there's the second spot, that's just right of the Mount Kaelir area. In a recent video, I talked about the activity entering a new chapter. Definitely check it out. And it seems as if we could be in the changing phase now. As we can see, the recent activity is concentrated in the two grey areas on this map, which is where a lot of tension is being released due to the magma dike under the Mount Kaelir area. We talked about the return of larger earthquakes in that video, and sure enough, we had one, but will there be more? I'll talk about that in the speculations and prediction section. But first, let's take a look at the last 48 hours, or the last two days. As mentioned before, the activity in the Mount Kaelir area has been on the quieter side, and very few earthquakes have been detected. This could be one of those breaks we are very familiar with, or it could just be fading out. But in the last 48 hours, a new mystery surfaces. What is going on under the Blue Lagoon? There were two sudden spikes of earthquakes. In the most recent spike, the average depth of the earthquakes was around 2.5 kilometers. Our experts don't seem to be paying much attention to it, so we don't know if it's just related to pressure releases or something else. But the 3.6 magnitude earthquake was in an area where it's easy to explain it. It's caused by release in pressure due to the magma dike. But that wasn't the only 3 magnitude earthquake that struck in the last 48 hours. No, there was another one, a few kilometers to the east in the Hengil area. The Hengil system is ready to go, but this earthquake is most definitely not related to any magma activity. It's most likely caused by the plate movement. But that's even more interesting, since the plates area under there is rubbing against each other instead of moving directly apart, which over time builds up tension that when released creates the largest earthquakes in Iceland. So if we are seeing signs of large earthquakes in this area, we might have to be ready for a 6 plus magnitude earthquake sometime soon. Some of you might remember, but back in February and March, an earthquake over 6 in magnitude was always considered a possibility simply because it's time for one to hit, based on history. About Aska. Well, as said earlier, the land rise has slowed down. It's now risen 6 cm in total since August, and what the scientists and geologists say is that this activity could die down, or something else could happen. We don't really know. But it's completely normal if it dies down. The system is not in a hurry, and could be gearing up for another big eruption like in 1874. But it needs more time to build up that amount of power, and it's only been 60 years since the last eruption. These recent events in the last 48 hours are rather interesting, despite being on the calmer side. We've had two earthquakes over three in magnitude, and both in interesting areas. But what about the idea of the activity entering a new chapter? 
Well, we could be entering it now, and it could either mark the end or pause of the activity here on the Reykjanes Peninsula, or we could see an increase in activity and bigger earthquakes in the upcoming weeks. So, if you want to see the outcome, definitely stay tuned, because this is exciting. Anyways, that's gonna be it. Hope you enjoyed, and if you did, consider leaving a like, since it helps a lot. Other than that, I just want to thank you for tuning in, hope to see you in the next video, and thanks for watching.